Hello, and welcome back to Media Connexus Studio Impression. Today we're going to continue our discussion on actors and actions. If you haven't yet watched part one, you might want to do so before continuing. In part one, we talked about how creating your presentation and impression studio is a lot like being a director. You have actors whom you need to direct in order to tell your story in the most compelling and engaging way. Actors act, that is, they perform actions. You, as a director, need to tell them what those actions are and when to do them. Last time we talked about the transform actor action, a very powerful action that all actors, except sound actors, can perform. Today I'd like to talk about actions that are specific to only certain actors. Let's get started. On stage I have the same actor from the last tutorial. I picked this actor because it can perform all the actions I'm going to talk about today. Later, I'll show you how I easily recognized this actor could do everything I wanted it to do. The first action we'll talk about is called exchange content. Suppose you want your actor to come out on stage, deliver some message, and then deliver a different message in the next scene. The exchange content action allows you to accomplish this. I've already added my actor to the stage, and down in the sequence toolbar it shows the add actor action. I'm going to change the default media and text for the first message I want this actor to deliver. Okay, let's see how that looks. Cool, okay, let's add another scene. In this scene, I want the actor to deliver a different message. Now you might be thinking, just remove the actor and then add it again. And then you can change the content. Man, what a pain that would be. Thank goodness we don't have to do that. Since this actor is capable of performing the exchange action, all I need to do in this scene is change the content. Watch. That's it. I'm done. Let's play the presentation. Okay, this is the first scene. My actor comes out, delivers the first line I gave it, now watch what happens when I advance to the next scene. I just press the spacebar. The actor delivers a different line with the professionally designed transitions for media and text. Pretty cool, huh? Notice down here in the sequence or toolbar that I have a new action entered below my actor, exchange content. Like any action, I can move it to occur whenever I want it to, and I'll talk more about that feature in the sequence or toolbar tutorial. I just want you to understand that until you tell an actor to perform a certain action, it's not going to perform that action. When you do, the action will appear in the sequencer toolbar. Now I could rinse and repeat. I could just add another scene, change the content again, and this actor will go on delivering different lines. It would be sort of boring to have the same actor delivering different lines, especially since I have so many actors to choose from, but just so as you know, it could be done. This actor will stay on the stage delivering lines until I tell it to leave. That is, until I tell it to perform the remove actor action. Okay, let's talk about another action some actors can perform. The Add Content action. The Add Content action is a little bit like the Exchange Content action. However, with the Add Content action, the last message stays on the stage when the new message is delivered. It's like your actor can talk out of both sides of their mouth. Let me show you. In the first scene, I had the actor say flexible in this bullet list. Well, I'd like my audience to remember how flexible impression is, but I'd also like to say something else about it. I'm going to add an add content action so the actor knows to keep flexible on the stage. Up in the properties toolbar, I have a tab for actions. When I click on add bullet paragraph item, a new bullet item is added below my first one. I can now type in my new line. With exchange content, I need to add a new scene to exchange content. With the add content action, I can add new content in a new scene, or I can add content in the same scene. Now notice the actions that have been added to the sequencer toolbar. I've got an exchange content action for the picture and caption text I changed, 
and I've got two add content actions for the two bullet list items I added. I'm just going to move these actions around to make my presentation more dynamic, and play the presentation so you can see how all this works. Our first scene with our original content, and our second scene with the new content, complete with the timing changes I made. Okay, one last action. The last action some actors can perform is really hard to describe, because it is really specific to the actor, and can virtually be anything. See, theme designers have a way to create custom actions for their actors. What an actor can do is really only limited by the theme designer's skill and imagination. Like all actions, Whatever custom actions an actor has can be found in the Actions tab of the Properties bar, or by right-clicking on the actor. This particular actor can perform two custom actions, Emphasize Next Point and Emphasize Previous Point. I'm going to return to the first scene and add the Emphasize Next Point action. Notice I now have the Emphasize Next Point action in the sequencer. I'm just going to move it out for perfect timing. Okay, I'm going to go to the next scene and add Emphasize Next Point again. Change its timing. Now let's play and see how that looks. Very cool. If I want, I could use the emphasized previous point to go back to my previous point. I'll just play the scene here so you can see what happens. Okay, so now how did I know this actor could perform all these actions? The actor in the gallery toolbar told me. These icons in the lower right corner of the actor stand for the different actions an actor can perform, exchange content, add content, and custom. If I select the actor in the gallery, it shows up in the preview pane and the same icons light up above the pane so I can preview how the actor performs those actions. The Preview button for Custom Actions will cycle through all the custom actions an actor is capable of. Actions, especially custom actions, give your actors incredible flexibility. Play around with them and find engaging and compelling ways to tell your story.